hey guys this is why you should come to ghana if you want to relocate to ghana so i hope you understand hey everyone welcome back and thank you for clicking to watch today's video but if you are new to this channel my name is lillian and i'm going to give you guys tips and i'm going to tell you guys why you should come to ghana personally beyond a youtube video research or other maybe blogs that your research you are doing on the internet about ghana so i in this video i want to advise you to come so the best thing for you to do if you want to move to ghana i'm not saying you should move to ghana or shouldn't but if you want to move to ghana you have to come to ghana first and explore it, see things by yourself see things one-on-one -on -one because some of the things you see on the internet may not turn out that way so no matter the kind of videos you see i still want to believe that you should come to ghana and see things the reason for this is because i recently had a guest who came all the way from the united states of america who happens to be a nigerian um, originally who happens to be originally from nigeria and then um, she had worked and uh, stayed in america for more than 25 years so she is a retired nurse in america who wants to return to africa but because for her personal reasons she did not want to go back home to nigeria so she chose between coming to gambia or ghana and then she had been to ghana, uh, gambia so she had been to gambia exploring the city and getting to do her background check about the cost of living and the behavior of the people um, beyond what she saw on the internet about the safety how safe these two countries are gambia ahead is a very 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 safe country just like ghana so at some point i even had that gambia is the safest country in west africa and followed by Ghana so I don't know how true that is because I've not been there but Ghana is really peaceful and so she had been to Gambia and then she came to Ghana to do her she want to compare the two so on getting here before she got here she was contemplating which of which she should do which she should do but on getting to both like she went to that one after some time went back to the states and then after some time she came from the states to ghana she's gonna choose ghana like she's choosing ghana so um uh, she was doing iv on like, like investigation online about the two countries she watched videos how the cost of living in ghana the cost of living in that and um she was not sure until she came down to ghana and a lot of the things that she saw on YouTube turned out to be not what she saw when she got here. So if you're looking to come to Ghana, don't just do your research on YouTube, do your research on just on the internet and that is not going to give you a proper information and understanding of the country you are coming into. See video. I have seen videos of people who moved from the states and uh, Europe they when they get to Africa here they come to Ghana and start living here um, before you know it they get broke and they want to go back so one thing I must tell you is you have to come and see the cost of living by yourself don't just okay oh if I have twenty thousand dollars is a lot of money in Africa yes twenty thousand dollars is quite um, a lot here when you change it to the local currency but trust me if you have your twenty thousand god um sorry if you have your twenty thousand us dollars and you are spending it on a daily basis spending it on fees that school fees if you have kids you're spending it on rent you're spending it on food on transportation you're spending it on clothes is at the end of the day you realize that you can spend that money within six months that is if you are the type that knows how to manage but if you are the type that wants to live your life to the fullest that money you'd be surprised that in three months time you have spent all your twenty thousand us dollar don't come and rely on your service 
that is the mistake number one is a very big mistake don't come to ghana um because you have certain amount of money that you have saved and you want to come and keep it here in ghana and then when you're broke when you finish your cities you take your dollars go change it come spend it take your dollars go change it come spend it you are going to be broke and you are going to go back there to the system you are trying to escape from so you have to come and know okay fine you don't want to come because uh, you want to come once it's okay let me help you a bit if you are coming here you have to have a business that will be bringing in money let there be flow of income let there be flow of income okay if you have a job or you have a business uh, if you have a business that you can do online and still earn a salary from it while you are here hey you are most welcome that's if your job allows you to work online you don't have to report at the office you can work from any part of the world according to the as as long as um as long as there's internet and then when your salary comes it will be paid into your account you'll be able to catch it out and continue to maintain then you are welcome to ghana baby and then if you have a business that you are doing you have people managing it for you they are not going to misuse your resources and you trust them sending you the money then you are welcome to enjoy yourself in ghana if you have a business that is global or something you can sell here you can you know manufacture anywhere you are you are welcome to ghana but make sure that the inflow of cash is steady do not for any reason just okay oh okay uh, i'm 30 now i want to go back to africa i'm done working i have um thirty thousand dollars that i have saved i'm going to go enjoy my life in ghana bro sis by the time you turn 40 you are going to be a very broke old man and you may not have the strength to walk so please don't do that mistake okay don't make that mistake if you want to come to ghana as a foreigner you have to know that coming to ghana you shouldn't come and live on your service you will be depressed and be hungry and broke and then you will find yourself running back home to where you came from so the best thing to do is start to think of a business that you would do when you get to ghana start to think of an investment that you can do start to think of um a job that you can do so the best thing is if you are looking to come and you have a business idea and you have the capital to start a business hey you are welcome to ghana when you come do make sure that you establish the business first and see how it goes then and uh, then you nurture it to grow then you now decide you know that okay yeah with this it can sustain me uh, while I live in Ghana, but don't make the mistake of just bringing your money to come and you know Come and just spend spend except of course you have tons of it like you have millions of dollars Then that way you do not have any problem. You can come and enjoy your life You get it. So this is what I want to address and another reason I said that you should come to Ghana first if you before you move to Ghana that is if you're looking to move to Ghana permanently is because if you do your online research you are going to be afraid because there are some Ghanaians that love to troll on foreigners videos and if you want to judge them based on that you will not come so for my dear friend who was here for two weeks we went out a lot we've been hanging out a lot going out going out so she can see side and um, I do not have my own personal car on going out of these outings that we're going all of the outings we're going were the taxis and they are Ghanaians the taxi people are Ghanaians and where we are going to most of the people we are going out to see are Ghanaians so she got to have that one-on-one um, -on -one interaction with Ghanaians the locals so and then when she goes on my channel to catch up with my videos she sees some comments that are not friendly uh, she kind of like these people are there okay and i asked her when she want to like are they like this they are not friendly they're not welcome you know they are they are rude they don't want foreigner they don't like and then i asked her when we're going out there did anybody treat you bad 
she will say it's true here the people are friendly they are nice they are hospitable they are extremely when i say extremely kind as long as you are ready to take it by not trying to behave like a demigod they are willing to give you that sweetness okay so and then if you don't come to ghana first to see that to yourself you may never know that you will be based on the online assumption of Ghanaian and then you'll be discouraged most time but uh, so this is why you should come to Ghana and see things to yourself when my friend got here and she asked me what is the cost of living in Accra because this is where I live no she said what is the cost of living in Ghana and I said I do not know how much it costs to live in Ghana but I can tell you how much it cost me to live in Accra because this is where I live because there are parts of the country here that you will live and you're amazed how easy how cheap life is over there but living in Accra here is not for the faint-hearted of course as a foreigner uh, who have lived in big cities big countries when you come to Ghana you may want to live in a big city so I can only tell you about Accra so I told her I can only tell you about Accra and like about two days after she stayed here she said we should go to the market so we can get some food items I said okay I followed her and uh, the good thing is she did not say take this money go to the market and buy and come she followed me that we should go together so i made her i took her around my customers where i usually buy things from and i she asked me do you need this and i said yeah what do you need and i said this she's okay let's go there when i buy she pays and then at the end of the day when we go home she said okay ghana mm -mm. she said oh she said okay ghana is expensive i said no ghana is not expensive accra is expensive in another part of Ghana and uh, it's gonna be way cheaper than you know it's, it's gonna be way cheap to live there than it is in Accra come and visit first okay talk to your travel agent there are lots of people in that into that in Ghana here who are into this travel thing they can help you secure your visa secure your papers for you to come as a tourist come and see come and understand the people understand the culture before you finally come so that you don't come here and end up feeling frustrated and all of your time will be wasted and you will go back and start all over again so that is why i'm making this video because i have seen someone in that shoe now my darling friend will be coming back in november because after spending two weeks in Ghana, she have decided that she's going to live in Ghana. Electricity supply and there's peace of mind. So nobody, no, body. I'm not saying Ghana is 100% safe. I don't know that part, but I know that it's a very safe place. I have not got into trouble, you know, like that. I have not seen things that are weird. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying, okay so another thing again is uh, so throughout our stay in my house they only took light once and when they took that light at around nine o'clock in the morning they brought it back at exactly six o'clock in the evening she saw that by herself these are the things you need to know these are the things you need to know the area we don't experience that all the time but maybe sometime like once in a week or once in two weeks we have that light out where maintenance is ongoing like they are maintaining the something or the post or something is under maintenance who we'll have light out for some hours so but i have never slept without electricity before so before you finally relocate to ghana i think that you should come to ghana first and visit and explore get to meet the locals one on one and decide the part of ghana you want to settle in and decide what you want to be doing when you get here in ghana so i hope that this video is helpful and uh, i'll see you in my next one bye